Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. On August 24th, my native country Ukraine celebrates its Independence Day. I wanted to make this video to honor my Ukrainian heritage and to share with you a tiny part of the Ukrainian culture. My family and I left Ukraine in 2001 and my aunt gave me three Ukrainian rushniks as a present. A rushnik is a traditional Ukrainian ritual cloth with handmade embroidery and sometimes with lacy thread crochet edgings. In Ukrainian village homes, rushniks are hung on the walls as decorations. They are also used for weddings and other ceremonies. Let me show you my rushniks. All of them were made by my aunt Natalia, who lives in a small village called Velika Pavlovka in Ukraine. My aunt is in her 80s now, and she had made these rushniks in her 20s or possibly 30s. So these rushniks are roughly 50 or 60 years old. This first one has cross stitch embroidery. Look how bright and cheerful those flowers are. So beautiful. And it is the same design on both ends of the rushnik. The edging was crocheted with very thin thread. I think the crochet design here looks like carnation flowers. Oh, no, 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 those are not carnations, those are voloshki. Mm, what are they called in English? Cornflowers, yes, cornflowers. Because in Ukraine, carnations don't grow naturally, but cornflowers do. That's what they are. The second one is also cross-stitched, but the cross-stitches on this one are much smaller. Very beautiful flowers. And the crochet edging has spider stitch designs. I actually crocheted a similar edging, but way more simple than this one. I have a tutorial for that. Now this last rushnik is different. The embroidery is not cross stitch. This is a flat stitch, which I believe is called satin stitch in English. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And this rushnik unfortunately doesn't have an edging. I've had these rushniks for 20 years and many times I've thought of making a crochet edging for this rushnik, but then I would think that I should probably keep it the way I received it, in its original form. But now I'm tempted again. What do you think? Should I add a crochet edging to this rushnik or should I keep it as it is, the way I received it? What would you do? I'm so happy to have these rushniks. A little part of my native country and my heritage, something that was made by my dear aunt and something that one day I will pass on to my own children. I want to show you something else. I had a picture of my rushniks on my blog and back in 2012 a lady from Australia contacted me asking permission to use that picture in a booklet for Kalina Care Retirement Home and here I actually have that booklet. Kalina is the Ukrainian word for viburnum and it is the ethnic and cultural symbol of Ukraine. In this booklet there are stories of the residents of Kalina Care. Many of them are from Ukraine, Poland and other countries who were displaced during or after the World War II. I was fascinated reading the life stories of these people and looking at the pictures. So yes, as you can see, I gave the permission to use the picture of my rushniks. You can see this rushnik in the picture right here and all of them in the picture on the back cover. Here I have a few sunflowers, which are another important cultural symbol of Ukraine. They represent the warmth and power of the sun, and it's also the national flower of Ukraine. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, no matter where in the world you are, in Ukraine or Australia, United States, India, Mexico, etc. God bless you all.